happening on on Saturday. It was kind of it was kind of our our weekend to explore Silver Springs, and and although we've been there many many times, I don't think I've ever walked the entire. Um, well, we we walk more trails than I've ever walked before. It was kind of it was kind of cool. The, the, you never underestimate the uh, the contribution that our local tourist attraction called Silver Springs made to to this state. Um, obviously, when Disney came in, Universal Studios came in. Obviously, they were a little bit different kind of a caliber. And uh, you, I mean, you can't blame tourists for saying, you know what, I, I think I'll go there instead of here. I think I'll go to, uh, you know, roller coasters rather than glass bottom boats. You, you kind of can't blame them. But at the same time, don't uh, don't un- underestimate the contribution that was made early in the early days of tourism here in Florida. Oh, certainly. It, it really it really is true. We have um, we, we have had well, before the interstate was built, and we have people living here right now that will tell you how that interstate changed um, the whole face of, of this whole area. Uh, Highway 41, which runs through Denellen, had a, a Rainbow Springs over there, which is still there, which was a theme park. Mm-hmm. And um, the creative, the imagination of the people who ran both Silver Springs and Rainbow Springs was, was pretty remarkable. And so they tried to keep up. They tried to do things that would attract visitors. They had the glass bottom boats here in Silver Springs. They had the uh, the portal boats down in uh, in Rainbow Springs. When the portal meaning you would actually sit below the water surface. Now that's cool. And look out into the water as opposed to down into the water. And both both ideas were remarkable and and um, and ingenious if you think about it. So this past uh, yes, yesterday, well, well, let me start with Saturday. Saturday we walked the trail in Silver Springs that takes you. It's called the River Trail, mm-hmm. and it takes you to the river, <laughs> basically. What right. was it about a? I don't remember how long it was. It was a couple miles, maybe. Yeah, okay. I don't remember. And you and you're down by the long. river, and you've walked through the woods, and you see the real Florida. You see the Florida with the trees and and the, the way it really looks. And mm-hmm. and and again, I'm not picking on the theme parks of Disney and, and Universal because I love those theme parks too. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to point out that at one point in time, you know, people used to come here for the weather, and these theme parks here in in Ocala and uh, and in Denellen. As before well, Disney was even before a thought. Di- before Disney, Six Gun Territory was before Disney. Yeah. But but I, I guess I'm trying to point out the imagination of the people who were involved with all of that. Mm-hmm. So toward the end of one of toward the end of the reign of Silver Springs as a tourist attraction, they had this idea to uh, have a jeep safari. Mm-hmm. And the jeep safari was pretty pretty simple, but a, but a unique idea. They they cut a path through the woods that the jeep would drive through and, and they would have a storyline you'd have to use your imagination that you're going deep into a jungle mm-hmm. and you're going to see animals that you you know we hope we see them and and i can't remember all the animals they had out there but um but they had um to, yeah, to keep the animals to keep stuff. the animals put they had these little what do you call it, cattle crossings yes cattle crossings so you know cattle and other animals can't because of their hooved feet can't walk across these little bridges but a, but a jeep can because it's got rubber wheels and so that trail one of the trails called the Creek Trail over at Silver Springs is actually that road mm-hmm. that the Jeep Safari ride was on. Yeah, that's cool. Now, what they've done so that if you're walking your dog or if you're wearing high heels, you're not going to step through the cattle crossing. They've they've put dirt on it. They've put uh, some blacktop on it. Yeah. And uh, so you can walk across without having to fear that your dog is going to slip through. Or, <laughs> but there's or, still areas that, that you can see it. There's, so yeah, you there, do have to pay attention you have to, where you're You have walking. to be careful. But it is very cool to see this because it's, if you ever took the ride, and this is what we did, because Robin had a memory of being on this ride, and so did I. You're walking on this trail, and you're remembering the driver would be like an actor in, in a way. And he said, okay, we're going deep into the jungle now. And, and there's the gazelles over there. And, and there's mm-hmm. the zebras over there. <laughs> right, exactly. Uh, and, and it was always fun to do. So mm-hmm. if you want to take this, it's only three quarters of a mile. And it's a loop. So you don't even have to, you really don't come back uh, on the same trail except for a little piece of it. Mm-hmm. So you, you walk this trail um, and the one f- funnest part, if funnest is not a word I know, but... I use that word. <laughs> funnest. But there was a, a dip. And if you ever took the Jeep Safari ride, you remember the dip um, was like like the like the Jeep had to go through a small creek. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, the the bridge had been washed out. They pretended the bridge has washed out. We got to drive through the through the creek, right? Mm-hmm. And then they pretend that the jeep gets stuck, and of course there was alligators in the creek, and there really were alligators yeah, in the creek. Yeah, real alligators, not. Fake but obviously ones. it was a fake creek, so that little dip in the in the path is still there. Mm-hmm. And and it, it's 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 kind of like you're walking through theme park history. And again, just to reiterate what I said earlier, don't ever underestimate the contribution that our theme parks here made to the bigger theme parks, even dis- even thinking about coming here. I mean, Walt Disney chose Florida because he saw there was already a tourist industry here. Those tourists were coming for the beaches, yes, but they were also coming for things like Rainbow Springs and Silver Springs. That's right. And Walt Disney said, you know, they're coming here. I'm going to make them come to my place. And, and voila, he built it. And then Universal Studios, Bush. Well, Bush Gardens was around before Disney, actually. Yes, it was. Pretty sure. Way before, sure. Back then, in those days, you drank beer and you looked at birds. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Beer now look at it. <laughs> All right. So real quickly, I wanted to uh, tell you about an opportunity. Um for young people to um, celebrate our water resources, which were at one time tourist attractions, and I suppose they still are, in Marion County. How many miles of rivers do you think we have in Marion County? 92 miles of rivers. Nice. In Marion County. That, nice. That is almost hard to believe. 32,000 acres of lakes in Marion County. We have more than 40 springs in Marion County. Gosh. And so uh, the uh, county commissioners um, have an idea. They want you to celebrate that. Opportunities to enjoy Marion County's water resources are unlimited, and the Marion County Department encourages local youth to enjoy the water resources and share their experiences. So you are invited by the Marion County Office of County Engineers, and this is for those who are 18 years old and younger, to participate in the Discover Our Water Resources Art and Photography Contest. This is through January 22nd. January 22nd. Students attending public, private, or home school here in Marion County may submit creative entries depicting any of the following themes. Marion County water bodies, wildlife, karst, limestone features, water uses, and recreation in water. And uh, for all the details on the photos, on the artwork, um, give this number a call, 671-8686. Melissa Baker is who you would talk to, 671-8686. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. After some morning cloudiness, it'll turn out mostly sunny and noticeably cooler today than recent days with highs in the upper 50s to lower 60s. Mainly clear and colder tonight with lows ranging from the mid-30s and a few inland spots to the mid-40s on the coast. On Tuesday, some clouds to start, then some sun, breezy and cool with highs in the low to mid-60s. Wednesday, mostly sunny, high 60 to 64. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Get it for less at the DIY Home Center Outlet. Get top quality real wood cabinets the same or less than the big box stores are selling the cheap stuff. And that's not all. Drywall Screws big box stores are $6.47 a pound at DIY only $4.99. Plus DIY has the largest selection of mobile home parts and accessories anywhere. From carpet to doors, get the DIY supplies you need for less. The DIY Home Center Outlet. We are your building material closeout store. 2191 Northwest 10th Street, just two miles east of I-75. Hello, gorgeous. Hi, this is Becky at Hello, Gorgeous Salon. Let's get rid of those sun-damaged ends and faded-out color and get into something rich and vibrant.